Welcome to Thrive It Up. It's family style right here. This is my dream team. So glad to have you. We're cooking up a storm in here. Tuscan meatball marinara, cake in a jar, meatballs, uh, strawberry mango smoothie. This is action packed. Welcome to the Thrive Life. Welcome to the Thrive Kitchen. It's Thrive It Up. Back in the Thrive Kitchen, we are with my youngest child. This is Judd, Judd Leonard. And what is your favorite meal? Tell us what your favorite meal is. Spaghetti. spaghetti. You love spaghetti. So we wanted to create for you our version, the Thrive version of spaghetti. So first thing we're gonna do, hot pan, Judd, okay? No, you can't get too close because that could burn you, okay? We're gonna put a little bit of extra virgin olive oil right in the pan. We're gonna take our pre-cooked meatballs, even though they're pre-cooked, they always could use a little more brown. Okay, our meatballs are, are sauteing. You hear that? What is that called? That's called the Thrive Sizzle. You hear that? Oh baby, the Thrive Sizzle. Okay, we're cooking. Does that look good so far? You betcha. All right. Now, got a little bit of our oil, olive oil in there coating those meatballs. We're gonna add Thrive Dehydrated Onions. Dry, dry. You don't always have to reconstitute. These onions are gonna to toast up just fine right in there with those meatballs. We're gonna add some garlic to that. All of our oil. Okay. Now, will you stir that up for me? Yep. Good boy. Oh, look at all that Thrive Love, son. Aren't those meatballs gonna be good? Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now, once those get a little bit of caramelization and a little bit of toasting, you're in heaven. You're in Thrive Heaven, right here. Right here, family style. Now what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go ahead and add about three cups of water. And you can pretty much add your tomatoes. These are Thrive tomatoes. Look at this freeze-dried tomato. That is awesome. That tomato's not gonna rot in your fridge. Open up your can, fresh tomatoes, instantly. Boom. We're gonna add again, Thrive Spice. We put that on everything, don't we? Throw a little Thrive Spice right in there. Chef's Choice All Purpose Blend Seasoning. We're gonna put Italian Blend Seasoning. We're gonna put a little oregano. Uh -huh. Does that look easy? Okay, I need you to stir that up again for me, pup. Okay, good job. Now you're gonna bring this delicious pot of love to a simmer, to a boil and let it simmer for about one to two minutes to let, let those flavors release. All right, Judd, we're boiling, finally. Right here, Thrive Tomato Sauce. Sprinkle in. Take Thrive Egg Noodles, right when it comes to a boil. Put the egg noodles right in, those are cooked. Stir, stir those in. Okay, now this one is a little dangerous. Toss that very carefully. Yeah, watch out, buddy. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Woo -hoo. Isn't that great? Okay, get all those noodles in there. Just look at the meatballs. Noodles. You hungry yet? Oh, yeah. Okay, now one quick thing that Judd and I love to do. We'll just take some good, good bread, we'll put it in a hot skillet, and we'll put either butter or we'll put a little bit of olive oil right in there like this. We just call that griddle bread, don't we? Pasta. Okay, sprinkle a little bit of that cheese on it. Take a little bit of our griddle bread. I know you love those. Simple, easy, some of our favorite food. The Thrive doesn't get any better. This is the Thrive Life. Eating good in the neighborhood.
Jake, my oldest son, Jake Leonard. Oh, baby. Glad to, glad to have you on, big guy. Okay, so, again, if we were to think, what do we want to eat? Give us some meat, baby, right? This kid puts down a hamburger like nobody's business. So what we wanted to do was make a Thrive meatball that we're going to actually use in my youngest son's recipe, uh, Tuscan meatball marinara. So this is a really fun recipe. You ready to get your hands in it? You betcha. All right, put the hamburger in. All right. So that's just market ground hamburger. And it is messy, and it's hard to clean up, and it's kind of weird. So we're going to use this hamburger, and then we're going to put and incorporate a whole bunch of delicious Thrive ingredients in there. Okay, ready? I know you like Thrive cheese. What we're going to do, now that we got our hamburger in there, let's take the Thrive cheese, put it in that bowl there. That's Thrive Monterey Jack. This is our Thrive Parmesan cheese, which we really like Parmesan on what? Spaghetti. Spaghetti with Thrive tomato sauce. So we put Parmesan cheese in there as well. We're also going to put Thrive scrambled eggs in there. Okay? And we're going to mix a little bit of water in with those items to give them a little bit of reconstitution. Grab that spoon, mix that up. Awesome, bro. Let's get that well incorporated in. Now what we're going to do is take the hamburger and finish seasoning with the other with the other seasoning ingredients. We're going to take a little bit of garlic. This is exactly one pound of fresh hamburger to garlic, thrive onions that we're actually going to put in there as well. Stir that up. We're going to put thrive spice. I call it thrive spice, but it's chef's choice all purpose bun seasoning right here in with the hamburger as well, which is the ultimate seasoning for everything savory. We have a little bit of balsamic vinegar gives it a little bit of zing, kind of like this young whippersnapper right here, a little pizzazz. All right, now green onions and Italian blend seasoning, throw, throw in there as well. In there, that one. Okay, perfect. Okay, I expect you to make me dinner tomorrow. All right, so now we've got everything in, in our ground meat. We're now gonna add the cheese, and a little bit of the water, the onions, everything in there, okay? Now the fun part. Remember, Thrive is therapeutic. Cooking is therapeutic. Get some gloves on, young man. <laughs> this is the best part. He's going to get his hands in there, and he's going to get to know this wonderful meatball. It's awesome. Symbol. Love it. Well done. You're like a mixer. Look at, look at this. Look at this thing. What is it? Four or five horsepower. Definitely. Okay, so now that looks good. So now we have delicious little treat there. You can see how wonderful it's mixed in. Little bits of cheese that when we bake it, that cheese is gonna melt and ooze its love right into those meatballs. All right, now, good. Discard, discard the gloves. Now the fun part, okay? Just take a, a scoop. Scoop them right onto the thing and then we need to get them balled up. So you can put those, that other glove on. And now we put meatballs right there. So that's what we're making, little meatballs. Bake them in the oven 400 degrees so you can get that delicious caramelization for about eight to 10 minutes, depending on your oven. Um, and then we're gonna put them in our meatball, Tuscan meatball marinara with egg noodles, thrive egg noodles. Welcome everybody to this session of Ask Chef Todd okay. with the man of the hour himself, Chef Todd Leonard. How are we doing, my friend? Glorious, glorious. We got a great question this month, but just to recap what this whole segment is, this is a fun, interactive segment with you, Chef. You bet. Use social media. It's fun. It's taking over the world. And a new trendy hashtag that is taking the world by storm is Ask Chef Todd. That's you. So if someone in our audience, in 
our viewership has a question for you about cooking, about cooking with Thrive especially, they can hit up Twitter, they can hit up Instagram, Facebook, any social media channel, and use the hashtag AskChefDot and ask you any question. Now, something cool I want to introduce this month, Chef. So if you select the question, you get blender none bottle. other than a blender bottle, a Thrive blender bottle, a Thrive Life apron, and a Thrive Life wood. Chef Todd's favorite, favorite wood spoon. So if you select a question, they're going to get this gift pack. Right? So submit a question using the hashtag at Chef Todd. So this month, we had Jennifer Oliphant who asked the question, how should I use bread mixes in bread makers? I'm not trying to stump you, but Chef Todd, Jennifer wants to know, how do I use bread mixes with my bread maker? How do you get it out? Just go ahead and twist that. Oh baby. There's our bread. So, question is, how do we do it? Well, you would do it like you would use the bread for any other bread in the bread maker. Pretty much, dump it all in, all the things from the actual can instructions, the yeast, the warm water, the bread mix, dump it all in, pretty much push, go. Ooh, like that's you, it, like dump and push, go. Pretty much, very simple. I can, the question is, well, will it turn out? So we actually tested one for you, Ooh. and will it turn out is the question. Remove the blender bottle, it could be yours. Come on. I like your technique, just drop. It's It's very, very serious technique. Boom! And voila! Right there. This is Thrive White Bread. Yes, it works in the bread maker. Beautiful, delicious bread made for you in your home. All you gotta do is put it on your cube, order the bread, put it in the bread maker, make a nice loaf. One pantry can equals one loaf. One number 10 can equals three loaves. Your but choice. Let me ask you this question, Chef. What if somebody wants to make rolls? Could they dump this in and then at the portion after the bread rises, could you take the dough out and then make you the roll? You could, you could, but it's probably easier to make rolls just to mix it in a, in a kitchen okay. and make the dough, let it rise, and then, and then, and then make, 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 make the rolls. But you could do that, but I, I think it would be probably just as hard or just as easy. Right. So, to answer the question, it's easy. You just dump and press go. That's pretty and much voila, it. And voila, you've yep. got a beautiful loaf. Yep. Turns out great. Of the country white. This is the country white bread. We also have the honey hole wheat bread. And there's more things you can do with our bread than just put it in the bread maker. Right. Delicious bread. I mean, for instance, we have a delicious recipe that was submitted this month for hazelnut blueberry sticky buns using the whole wheat bread. But they make great cinnamon bread. They make great fry bread. They make great donuts. They make great pizza dough. Our bread is awesome. And so, yes, it can work in a, in a, in a, in a, in a bread maker. It's that easy. It's super simple. Just start ordering fry bread. Thank you, Jennifer. Her hashtag, her uh, Twitter handle is actually at Jen Thrive Life. If you at want Jen to Thrive Life. Chance. But, Jennifer, thank you. You've got the new... Chef Todd, Ask Chef Todd gift pack coming your way. Thanks for your questions. And remember, if you've got a question and want to get it featured and win the gift pack here on this segment, go ahead and ask at hashtag Ask Chef, Chef Todd. Todd. We'll see you next month. Thanks, Thank guys. Thank you. Let's cut into this, man. I'm an old baby. Mm. Mm. Look at that bread. Welcome to the Thrive Kitchen. We have an exciting recipe for you. This is Catherine Leonard, my youngest daughter. We're family cooking today. This is her favorite recipe. This is Thrive Cake in a Jar. So Kate, the, what we want to do to start is get the berries for our cake. And what's your favorite berry? Um, raspberries are my favorite fruit. Really? Well, go ahead and put those in there. These are Thrive Whole Strawberries, Thrive Raspberries, dump those in. And then we have Thrive Cane Sugar and some water. And that water is going to bring those fresh berries back to life. Okay, now give that a stir. Perfect. While, you'll, while you're stirring that, I'm going to create a streusel. And what a streusel is, is basically butter, 
flour sugar mixed together, that's what gives you that crisp, that wonderful flavor, that little candy bite to it. So we're going to put a little bit of butter right into a bowl, okay? We're going to mix some Thrive Brown sugar in with the butter, some cinnamon, some flour, and that's Thrive uh, flour and Thrive quick oats. Okay, all the, all the ingredients now are in for our streusel. Those berries are looking delicious. You can see very quickly the berries reconstitute. They've kind of leached out some of their flavor and their juices. Um, have gone into the, to the actual sauce. That's going to go into our cake and just make it really, really syrupy and delicious. All right, Kate, now I'm going to have you have a little bit of therapy. You like therapy? Yes. Well, what we do at home this is called the Thrive Therapy. We're going to put some gloves on you. Okay? Those are probably going to be a little big. No problem. Can you get, it, get your hands in there? Perfect. Okay, now all you need to do is get your hands in there and get therapeutic. Thrive is therapeutic. It's, it's healthy for the soul. Okay? All right, so when your brothers and sisters are, are bugging you, you need to make streusel. Thrive is very therapeutic. So get your hands in there and get, get mixing that up. You want to mix all of that together so that everything combines and it's going to be kind of crumbly, kind of like little, little pea size. When it comes to that stage, then we'll be able to layer it into the cake. All right, next. The next component of this Thrive cake in a jar is the actual cake. So what you want to do is get your KitchenAid going. We're going to take butter and Thrive sugar and we're going to cream this together until it's light and fluffy to give us a nice light fluffy cake. Go ahead and turn this on. After you have the butter and the sugar creamed together for your cake, you can go ahead and add the, pretty much the rest of the ingredients. We have Thrive Instant Milk. We have Thrive Baking Powder. We have Thrive Vanilla Powder, and if you haven't put this one on your queue, you sure should. Thrive Scrambled Egg Mix, Thrive Salt, Thrive Flour, and water. Those are the rest of the ingredients for the cake. We're going to dump all those in, and we're going to push go again. Okay, everything's pretty much there. I'm going to wait on the water just for a second. Turn this on. Get everything mixed up. We want to take one of our rubber spatulas. And as we add the water, we just want to scrape down the sides to make sure they got blended well. And always turn it off, right? You don't want that. You don't want your little spat getting stuck in there. Okay, scrape it down. Off we go. And that's pretty much the cake. That's how easy it is. This is just a fun one that you can do right at your home. And look at all the awesome Thrive ingredients that you use when making this cake, this whole dessert. Okay, now for our best favorite part. This is going to make your whole house smell like Thrive. What we're going to do is put these in an oven at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes or until the cake is set golden brown. You're going to see these little babies rise. It's a lot of fun. Okay, you ready to go to the oven? Perfect. Welcome everybody to the Featured Chef segment here on Thrive It Up. I've got our amazing chef here, Chef Todd Leonard. He's been uh, you know, cooking up a storm. Cooking up a storm yep. and spending hours and hours just scrolling through all the recipes that were entered in for February and he has made a selection for March's Featured Chef. It's actually Laura Meza. She is from Alhambra, California, and she's been a consultant since August of 2013. And 
Chef Todd. Good job, Laura. You have selected her featured recipe, which highlights our honey, whole wheat, Good grab, man. Good grab. Go ahead and tell us about this recipe, Lars. Well, this recipe, when we pick the recipe of the month, we're looking for innovation, a whole bunch of thrive in the recipe, and a tasty, delicious, common uh, recipe that would be would be one you would want to use in your own home. And so this this recipe, blueberry hazelnut sticky buns. Let me. Let That's me say a that tongue again. twister. Blueberry hazelnut sticky buns. Okay, now, quickly, you know the other name for hazelnut? Uh, blueberry. Filberts. Okay, hazelnuts are actually called filberts. And I want to recognize Bart's middle name is Filbert. So, this is a special, special recipe. And these sticky buns are delicious. And this is the whole wheat bread. Of course, you can use the country white bread, but you, you can use whatever bread you want, um, the white or the wheat. But the very simple recipe that turns out delicious. It's an easy recipe, and it's packed full of fried. It's pure vanilla powder, no, sugar, blueberries, our, our, our honey whole wheat bread. Um, it's, just, it's just a delicious recipe. So we congratulate Laura on this delicious recipe. Thank you so much. We tested, by the way, a lot of recipes. I'm getting from five to even 15 recipe submissions on our recipe website a day. Oh my so, goodness. So day. everybody continue to submit recipes because they're shared for all and all can contribute and uh, benefit from your recipe. So please keep submitting. So if you want to get your recipe, if you, if you think you have a recipe that uh, Chef Todd would just drool over or think is just uh, innovative, a fun, warm, healthy recipe. Go ahead and submit it, or submit it anyway, and let's see if it passes the Chef Todd test and he selects it for the featured recipe for the next upcoming month. So, congratulations, congratulations. Laura. And uh, we will see you next month here in the kitchen on Featured Chef on Thrive It Up. Keep thriving! Back in the Thrive Kitchen again. Yes, more Thrive Power. We got the power horse, the powerhouse right here, Abby J. Leonard. She's my oldest daughter. Say hello. Hi. Say hi to all the Thrivers. Hi. Say what's going on? Hello. Here, speak into the, speak into the microphone. <laughs> hello. Okay, you ready? Do you love smoothies? Yeah. Okay, she is actually the smoothie maker in the house. So what we've done is create some of her favorite flavors of mangoes and strawberries. So this delicious recipe is a mango strawberry smoothie, but it's also featuring one of our later, latest launches, our new Greek yogurt. So it is a very healthy and delicious and simple smoothie. You ready to push go? Okay. You're going to put everything in there. Thrive mangoes, two cups. Mangoes. Booyah, there you go, perfect. Drive mangoes, drive strawberries, two cups, okay? Thrive Greek yogurt, try not to eat them all before they go into the container, okay? This is our um, mango passion drink mix. This is what's gonna be our sweetener and our flavor system for this actual smoothie. And then of course, we always put in Thrive vanilla powder, okay? We love Thrive vanilla powder in our house. All right, so pretty much all the ingredients are in. Now you need the cold and you need the liquid. So three cups of ice. Oh my goodness, it's filling up. Perfect. Okay, and two and one-fourth cups of water. Very good. Man, I've never seen a motor like that. Okay, now you want to do the honors? Push, pulse, smoothify, hold it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh baby, the mango tango, here we go. All right, she's done looking good. All right, lay our cups out, six cups. We'll give Judd a little bit. Okay, boom, one for Judd. See how smooth 
silky, refreshing, cold, healthy, nutritious. This smoothie is packed with a punch. The good news is you don't have rotten strawberries going bad in your, in your fridge. They're in your pantry, in your can. Always fresh, always ripe, always delicious, and very healthy and nutritious. Dad, who's going to drink all these? I have no idea. Maybe we ought to get started. Whoa! Easy, easy, easy. That's the Thrive Style right here. Driving it up smoothie style. Strawberry mango smoothie right here in the Thrive Cave. Thank you so much for joining us on Thrive It Up this month. We hope you enjoy it. From our family to yours, have a great month.